Hello everyone. Welcome to the Vishnupur Academy. And we are again here with a new project on Scratch that is the Shooter Game. So as you can see on the screen, we have got a bird that's a parrot and we have to shoot this as it moves in the sky and we have to target it and keep shooting it and a score will be keep increasing so let's see how it works so this is what we are going to create right now so isn't this interesting so let's get started and create this game So I've already taken up uh, my sprites which I need in this project. I've got the parrot which I've selected from the scratch platform only. In the animal section, I have got the parrot easily over here. So I've taken this Sony. Then I have uh, taken a shooter pointer which I had earlier downloaded and I uploaded this from my computer. Then I even take, I've taken even a bullet, which I'll be firing at the parrot. So I've even uploaded this image from my computer. You can take your own images for a shooter and for the bullet as you wish, the ones you like. So over here we have got a green background. So as you all know how to change the background, we we'll just select this background and cover it over here. So it's almost covered and this will do our job. So as we can see in the picture, the small green portions are not visible. So this will do our job. And I have reduced the size of the bullet to 10 so that it looks good enough. A bigger size won't look good. And for the shooter pointer, also I have reduced the size to 90, sorry 50. So now it's good enough. Now I need a background for it. I'll choose the blue sky. Now it's looking good. So let's start coding. First of all, taking a green flag block. Then when I start my game, first thing I want to code is the parrot. It should move continuously in the sky from this end to this end. So when it is at this position, It should start from here. So the first thing I want is it should go to this position whenever I start my game. Okay, by mistake, I have clicked on removing the parrot, I guess. So let me select it again. Okay, so I'll take my flag block, move it to the first possession. And then I'll take my forever block. I want my parrot to move from the left end to the right end continuously. So I'll select my glide block. It should glide from this position to this position. So the value of this position is 188x and 121y. This should move continuously but there should be a weight also in there so that I can see its movement slowly. 
or else it's going to be very fast very difficult for me to shoot while it's moving so fast and then after it's moving this way it should again start moving again from the left end and it should go on continuously till the go code is on so again i need my go to block it should again go back to the original value that is uh, at the beginning minus 192 and 190 so as we can already see the parrot is moving very easily from the left to right continuously so the coding for a parrot is done and let's now code our next sprite that is a shooter pointer so whenever we click on the flag and when we start shooting we also need a score so let's create a variable that is score and uh, initially i'll set my uh, score to 0 then i need my forever block and i want my shooter pointer to go as per my mouse pointer so i'll select this go to block and select the mouse pointer over here so it will move as per my mouse pointer and then i'll check if it is touching the parrot or not i'll sense this if it is touching the parrot and if also the mouse is down then our score should increase right so i'll again check for my mouse being down so again sense for my mouse if my mouse is also down then my score value should change so I change my score by 1 this is done for this we also need a music so i'll just add one music over here taking my forever block first of all have lots of via uh, options over here but i'll select this job since it is a bird and then for coding for the last sprite that is our bullet again first of all we'll take a green flag a forever block and again over here we'll check for a mouse pointer it should go to our mouse pointer first of all as the mouse po mouse pointer will move uh the shooter pointer and the bullet both should move along with it and then i need to also check if the mouse is down if i need, i'm sensing if the mouse is down then the bullet should move to the parrot then i'll just slide my bullet to the parrot and this 
time period should be very small making it 0.01 now our code is mostly done now let's see how it's working okay there's some glitch over there it's not falling down okay we haven't added the code for the parrot to fall down just adding the last block over here when this sprite will be clicked then it should glide down very fast anywhere in this location so the x range will be this entire place and the y will be fixed so just pick a pick a random value okay first of all this need to be x and y x value is minus 226 over here and 179 over here y value is negative minus 146 so now it should fall down on clicking now let's see. so now our game is working perfectly fine the bird is falling down on shooting on receiving the bullet so if you like the game then please like the video comment all your doubts and queries share it with all your friends and family and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and even press on the bell icon for future updates and notifications thank you everyone